I hope this is somewhat in focus. I also hope the lighting is good. I wanted to sit on my floor today because the past few videos... Oh wait. Can't get copyrighted. So, hey guys! As you can tell, I'm in a bit of a better shape than I was last week. Still tired, but this time I have food in my system. Always get your nutrition kits. But today I am sitting on my floor because the past few videos I have been sitting on my bed and I feel like it's getting boring and the thumbnail's boring because it's just me on my bed. So now it's just gonna be me on my floor. Like that's any better. It's hot. Today we are gonna be talking about assumptions because that's just buzzing around YouTube right now. And at first I was like, eh, I don't wanna do this. This is kind of stupid. And then I watched some videos and I was like, these are actually kind of funny. I wonder what people think of me. So your girl is here and she's gonna be reading assumptions on my new phone. <laughs> Let me tell you about my new phone before we get into this because why not? Alright, sorry if, ugh, oh, frick. I want to make sure that I'm like in the frame because I have a mirror set up here. I'll show you on my phone. My regular setup. Whoa, yo. The camera quality on this phone is fucking sick. Thanks, Apple. But I have a mirror set up so I can see myself, but I keep angling to go see myself because I can't see myself here. So if, I, if you see me angling, you know why. Alright, back to the video. So I got a new phone because I slammed my phone in my car door. That's really it. But basically, um, I was actually wearing this cardigan and cardigan pockets hang low. I didn't know my cardigan was hanging outside the door. Went to go close the door and it rebounded so it bounced back and um, I was like, what the fuck? And I picked up my cardigan and I was like, oh I hit my phone, ha ha, how funny that is. And then I looked at my phone, and the LCD is broken, the screen touch is broken. If it was still on, I would show you guys, but it's basically like a phone with 10 million lines just across the screen, and it was shit. And I was really upset that I had to get a new phone because my lease wasn't up for like 10 more months, so I had, I had to pay a lot of money. And uh, now I'm broke. So, yeah, that's my story time for the day. And now let's go into my assumptions. Yay! Can I do the first assumption I received was trend follower with the winky face. Well, funny story. There are some things I'm a trend follower with. Like there's some things where I'm just like, damn, I don't care that people, like majority of people like this. I'm gonna like it anyways. And then there's some that I don't pick up until later. Like um, fuzzy jackets, the like teddy jackets, I was pretty on point with. But there were some things that were really popular and I was like, that's gross. And then when they died down and wasn't as popular, I was like, yeah, this is actually fucking sick. And I think part of the reason I am that way is because I don't like to be one of those kind of people. Because, I don't know, I just don't. I don't like the vibe of it, so I kind of try and stay away from following trends, but some I just give in to and some I don't pick up until after they're not trending anymore, and depending on what it is, if it's clothing or something, I get it for cheaper and it's on sale. My next one is really into vintage things. Correct, I am really into vintage things. I try to, I want to get more into vintage things. I don't have a lot of vintage going on, but the aesthetic and the style of it, whether it's um, fashion, whether it's music, or like objects, like just vintage, I don't know, cameras. I actually have a vintage camera. It's just stuff like that. I think it's really cool. And I say this about my, uh, original press records. It just feels like I have a piece of history and a piece of like the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever I decide to choose from. So it's just really cool to me. I really like that stuff. So yes, I am. You're your mom's fave kid. Pet your ass. I am my mom's favorite kid. Look, 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 look. She doesn't say it. Obviously she'll be like, you're my favorite daughter. And I'm her only daughter. So, you know, there's that. But 
I'm her favorite kid. I have tea time with her. I watch a TV series with her. We sit on the couch and eat cookies together. We go to yoga together. She's, she's like my best friend, bro. I can't believe I just said bro. Okay, but she literally is like my best friend. And then there's my brother. And partially, partially the reason I feel like she's more connected to me and I'm her favorite kid is because my brother is a boy and he's in the phase where he doesn't talk. So mom will be like, oh, how was your day? And he's like, good. That's it. And I'm over here like, oh my god, you'll never guess what happened. you never guess what this teacher said or what assignment I have or what I got on this test. So it's just like that kind of stuff. I have more of a connection with her, therefore I think I'm her favorite. Or I know I'm her favorite. Confidence, guys. Next one is, you're only coming to school because of the attendance policy. Yes, spot on. I literally do not give a shit about school, but my school just started this new thing where if you're absent for more than 18 days and you can't walk across the aisle or get your like fake diploma shit when you graduate, and I don't really care about that, but my mom apparently does. So, um, yeah. So far I have five days absent, and I think I'm about to hit two more days because I don't want to go to school. My mom was like, you can have a mental health day, and I'm gonna try I'm going to try to extend it to two. Wish me luck with that. Update, I only got one day. But I guess that's better than none, right? But yeah, I fucking hate school and the only reason I'm there is because of attendance and because my mom makes me. Next one is stuck up bitch. I mean, Depending on whose perspective this is from, I could be a stuck up bitch or I could not be a stuck up bitch. Do I think I'm a stuck up bitch? No, but maybe some girl in my math class? Maybe. So it's a matter of opinion. Next one is you smoke. No, <laughs> I do not smoke. I'm actually like the most innocent friend out of my friend group, most innocent person probably in my school to a degree. It's just like, like it sucks, I feel like a pussy, but it's also like, I don't really have an interest to smoke. I have nothing against smoking, you do whatever the fuck you want to do, just don't be stupid with it. But I really just don't have an interest with it, therefore I don't smoke, so I do not smoke. Next one I have is, I thought you were a lesbian. I feel like I should know this. First thing I think of is the vine, where the kids like... The girl's like, I thought, oh, I'm lesbian, and he was like, I thought you were American. So I'm gonna go with uh, this person who commented is wrong. Next one is, you're in love with me with a winky face. Wrong. wrong. Just kidding. You know who you are. I love you. Disgusting. Okay. Next one I have is, you're the baddest bitch in the land, a true queen. Yes. Basically, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, I am a pretty bad bitch. Not in the form of like, edgy bad bitch, Forever 21, like, checkered vans, thrasher, la la la. I'm a bad bitch in a way of like, I get shit done and I let nobody get in the way. Besides my own mental health. But, yeah, I would say I'm a pretty bad bitch. And I have friends who call me a queen, so yeah, correct assumption. Next one I have is, you're more of a dog person than a cat person. Yes, and I say that because I was raised in a house with only dogs. I never had cats, and mainly because my mom was allergic to cats, so we didn't have cats in the house. But recently, um, my good old friend Daryl, if you don't know who Daryl is, I'm probably gonna put some pictures in of him. He's just so adorable, I love him. Look at him go. But he is my neighbor's cat, and my neighbor literally threw him outside and was just like, You're gonna be an outdoor cat. And he was an indoor cat his entire life, I'm assuming. And he resorted to just coming over to our house, and um, he sits on our patio, sits in our garage, tries to get in our house, but because my mom's allergic, we can't let him in. But we feed him sometimes. We gave him a nice little salmon for Christmas. So um, I am more of a dog person, but. I like cats too. My next assumption is you hate school. Correct. I see no point of going at this point, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, right? 
Someone commented, stoner. No, I'm not a stoner. Might try marijuana at some point, but not a stoner. Never can be, never will be most likely, so. Sorry to disappoint. Next one is English major. Um, I'm not an English major. I'm going to major in psychology and communications. So communications is somewhat close, but not exactly. Um, I had one of my coworkers tell me that psychology and communications are a very common major. And I kind of got upset because um, I like psychology, so I want to major in it. And then I like communications because communications has something to do with writing, but it's also broad enough to change. So if for some reason I don't want to do writing, then, and I want to do something with business, communications helps with business, but obviously you need to go to business school. But um, basically what I'm trying to say is, I thought I was being unique by, cho by choosing psychology and communications as my majors. And I was like, oh yeah, like that's so cool. I don't feel like I'm copying anyone or like following the same path as anybody else. But then my coworker told me, oh my God, that's such a common thing to do. And I was like, yay. So that kind of sucks, but no, I am not an English major. My last question, assumption, my last assumption for the day is aesthetic wardrobe equals aesthetic room. Aesthetic room, that's what I meant. Um, in my mind, that's how it is. I'm a person who likes to be perfect, so if I have this aesthetic wardrobe, I have to have this aesthetic room kind of thing. I know that's not how an aesthetic works, but it makes me feel good and like collected and I like it, but then I end up changing like six months later. Right now my wardrobe does not match my room, as you can tell. My room is purple, and while I like the color purple, I would have preferred probably a white, if I'm gonna be honest, like a white or a cream, maybe a gray, because that's, that's a very neutral color and I can easily switch it up. But my mom let me recreate my room when I was going into sixth grade, which I think was a really dumb decision because middle school is not the year to make that transition. I would have done it my ninth grade year going into high school, so now I know for my kids. But um, I got purple, it's very pretty, it's relaxing, just not my forte. I have posters hanging around and the posters don't exactly match with the purple wall and it really throws me off and really makes me upset and I'd like to redo my room but I'm moving out in like six weeks. Sorry, the fact that I said moving out kind of threw me off, so I said six weeks instead of six months. But I'm moving out in like six months, so um, I don't know if it's worth it, like time, money, and anything else that goes with it. But um, I try to incorporate as much as I can, and it's always switching, like I'm always looking at Pinterest and like, I want to try this, I want to do this, I want to do that. So um, it does but not to the degree that I wanted to. Um, that's actually pretty fun. I like doing that, but I think that's it for this video. So, awesome. I'm glad I did that, it was pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. It's really cool to get some interaction and like see that people like my stuff. So if you liked it, thumbs it up. If you don't like it, then you can thumbs it down. It's fine. I If you could, oh my god, if you can subscribe, that would be amazing. Please subscribe. It would be so cool. Um, yeah, so subscribe, leave a comment down below, make sure to like it, um, and then put on my post notifications, I guess. I post every Sunday, so then you'll know. And um, I'm going to link my last video down below, and I'm also going to link my social media so you can see anything outside of YouTube. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.